Hey guys, it's Abby and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my artist residency experience in Berlin. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'd know that I spent two and a half months in Berlin, Germany over the summer taking up an art residency program. I also have a video on my residency. I will link it down below for you to check it out. So keep watching the video to learn more about my experience. So first of all, my whole art situation is basically I've been doing art for four years full time and I actually didn't take up any art school degree and then get a college degree in art and personally I just wanted to be in, a, in an environment that sort of prioritized the whole concept of making art and really being good at your artistic practice so that's why I applied to this institute and the reason why I did that was actually because when I was in New York I wasn't really happy with my how I've been studying there because the education the quality of education that I wanted was not really what I expected and I will also link that down below in case you're interested to know my thoughts on my schooling in New York so that's why I applied to this institute basically the whole concept of a residency program is you apply to get in and this one is actually I paid to get in because I had to pay for my rent for the studio and also for the classes that I'm going to be enrolling in. But other residencies are actually different. Most residencies you will find are very prestigious because you have to be qualified in order to get in, send in your applications, and they will provide everything for you from the logistics to your lodging to your studio to all the programs you'll be involved in. So this is a quite different setup. In case you were asking why did I choose Berlin, I went to Berlin last year and I really really enjoyed it. So far in some of my favorite cities, Berlin is actually one of my top favorites and I really like the vibe, it's very urban, also very chill, very, more, more chill compared to New York to be honest. And I really enjoy the whole area, it's very historical, full of culture and the art scene is very very vibrant. So that is the exact reason why I chose Berlin. Also because budget wise, the budget and expenses for Berlin are way cheaper than what I expected. And in terms of comparing it with New York, New York is just really really high up in terms, in terms of expenses. And this time I had to look for my own apartment and also provide all the expenses for lodging, for my studio, for my daily expenses, for my food, and that's why I also chose Berlin. So in terms of adjusting to the whole idea, I remember during my first week it was kind of awkward. So basically what I did was I signed up for two blocks. Two blocks means four calendar, one block is four calendar weeks per month year so i chose two blocks which means it's eight calendar weeks so during my first week i was like what is happening i have a studio and you know i come from a background where i actually work in my room this is actually my room the opposite side is actually my bed so it was really nice to sort of detach myself in terms of work like when i go to studio i respect my process and make art solely there when i go to the apartment it's just resting and netflix for me so that was pretty interesting also, I started adjusting in terms of the tools I started using. I used to just use watercolor, do my stuff in journals, small scale work, and then now I suddenly did a lot of big scale work, worked on different patterns, and actually I tried to remove lettering and add more of the things that really interested me and what I really wanted to discover because an art residency is the place to do that because no one is judging you for what you do, and that's what I really like because everyone in the studio is very encouraging and being an environment in that situation is just really really enlightening because it helps you become more open i think because i've been working by myself for the past four or five years it's always been like me talking to myself the whole time i make art and it's not really fundamental to my growth and being in an environment with people who are from different nationalities different artistic backgrounds different experiences helps make me more connected to other people and also get a glimpse of how i could so far improve on my work, what else I could add, how I can like further hone my artistic practice and this is something that I believe I could not gain while I am here because if you know me, I don't really go out as much and I really just like to keep to myself. So the whole setup here is actually there are four, three to four people in a studio and during my first month I stayed with three people and during the second month I stayed with two people so it's quite different and you really see how the energies change and I like it because it helps my mind sort of filter out also how I adapt to certain situations and the whole idea of me growing into a different type of artist also really emerged through this program because 
grow I remember coming in like feeling very secluded and feeling like it was only this and how I viewed art was just this way but then when I got out I talked to my directors it was just really an enlightening experience because suddenly my perspective really changed people sort of helped me gain a lot of ideas in terms of how to better improve my work and make it something that's more different helping me explore more ideas and that's something that I'm really really grateful for for this experience now the question is Abby should I take an art residency program and the answer is, I can't answer that for you. You have to be able to evaluate your own creative journey. I would suggest to also figure out what direction you want to take in your life. So to give you an example, some of the people I met in the institute were actually people who were just, gonna, who were just getting into university and would want to build the portfolio. That's why they, they signed up for the institute and signed up for the program. For me, it's kind of different because I'm this like very confused millennial young adult or not so young adult trying to figure out her way in the art world and that's why I signed up for it because I also needed a break from my very hectic day job of managing my shop and really doing a lot of content and then there are other people who are actually really really older who are just like you know what I just want to paint I just want to be happy and just do all the things and also if you're looking to gain more connection in a certain country that you're interested in for example if you want to gain contacts and be in galleries in Berlin, it would be wise to actually take up a residency program because you get to meet a lot of people and at the same time, there are lecturers who come over every week and critique your work. It's really a great way to sort of build on your trust with yourself and how you can market your work in a specific country. And yeah, it's really, really different. I really can't give a proper answer. And to be clear, this is not similar to being an art student because if you're an art student, you basically sign up for like three to five years of studying art and getting a degree out of it this is more of like a non-degree endeavor so what i felt here was actually because i paid for it i knew that i really wanted to make every second and every minute count because your responsibility to be at the studio every day is up to you it's a very flexible schedule and i realized that because i'm very I am quite the hardworking person that I am and I go to the studio a lot of times I try to stay as long as possible try to work as much as I can because this energy really helps build you up and really disciplines you to become better because the common thing is like people think artists are very lazy but actually it, there's just a lot of thinking processes involved and really ideation process that really come in that's why it takes longer to create but being in a place like this really helps you sort of veer away from what you're comfortable with and I think if you're the type who's very interested in exploring something like this basically exploring the unknown then I highly suggest getting an art residency and also if you have extra budget I really suggest this it's a really good learning experience like for me it's one of the better things I've done for myself because I've spent most of my life basically making art for everyone else and this one sort of brought me back to why I really wanted to make art in the first place. So that's why I really really suggest it if you are in the right time and the right mindset to do it. So that's it for my video on art residency experience. I know you guys have been asking this question so hopefully I gave you some insights on how to go about it and if you're interested do watch my other videos on this topic and let me know what you think in the comments below make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel for more updates on art and travel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye